Hi there, I'm Katie B, nutrition coach and the creator of Small Change Nutrition. I believe that every woman, no matter what stage of life she's in, can have the body she wants without giving up everything else in her life or being uncomfortable all of the time. I'm committed to sharing what I've learned over the last 10 years so that you can make long lasting changes and feel your best. We can do this together. Small changes make big impacts over time. That is the heart of what I do here at Small Change Nutrition. We don't have 2020 vision, ladies. No, we have 2030 vision. If you're someone who wants to change, but you feel overwhelmed or like you don't have the time or like you've tried and failed and relapsed before, I cannot wait to talk to you. Hi, everyone. So today I am going to be doing a Thrive Market haul. I'm going to be talking about everything that I just got from my most recent purchase, and I am super excited about it. You can't really see, but I'm surrounded by stuff, so I'm just going to kind of go through everything. Um, this is not a sponsored video, um, but I will have a link below if you want to sign up for Thrive Market. Um, let's get to it. Also, I have a seven-week-old son, and he is currently sleeping in the corner in his swing, but in case you hear him, uh, he might wake up. Um, but without further ado, um, so I love Thrive Market. Um, this has been a staple for me um, for the last few years, but especially during this pandemic, um, my husband has been doing the grocery shopping in terms of going to the grocery store. Um, but I really have relied on Thrive Market for some of my staples. Um, I try to be dairy-free and gluten-free pretty much all of the time. Um, now that I'm breastfeeding though, I'm also kind of experimenting with cutting out some foods um, that I think might be giving him a little bit of an adverse reaction, whether that's some colicky symptoms or gas or just you know, it really depends. Um, but anyway, so my diet's maybe a little bit different than it would be. Um, so regardless, um, Thrive Market is one of the ways that I get a lot of my staples. Um, and this is just because it's so affordable. And for me, I can really cut down on the cost by getting it from Thrive, even though I have to pay for shipping and I do pay the annual, um, uh, what's that called? Like membership fee. Um, but it's totally worth it because of all of the money that I save, um, from not buying these items at the store. So one thing that I get, um, is coconut aminos. Um, and this is something that I use instead of soy sauce. So this is really made from coconuts. Um, there's no, um, soy in here. It tastes definitely sweeter than soy sauce would taste. Um, and honestly, I think sometimes it's a little bit easier to use too much because it is kind of sweet. Um, but there's, um, it's basically only coconut, um, and some balsamic sea salt that's in here. But again, love this. Great for marinating, using in salad dressings, using instead of the soy sauce. The next thing, um, I have been obsessed with this. This is this Primal Kitchen avocado oil um, Caesar dressing. Oh my gosh. I, again, like I said, I'm dairy free. This doesn't have any dairy in it. Now it does have eggs and coconut. Um, but I randomly had this craving the last time that I bought from Thrive and for like Caesar and ranch dressings, but I didn't want to get anything with dairy. And so Primal Kitchen is a great alternative for that. And this dressing tastes amazing. Now, admittedly, I haven't had actual Caesar dressing in like a really long time. I mean, probably at least 10 years, but this Caesar dressing is definitely worth a try. I love it. Um, the next thing I bought from them, and I made this purchase when um, they were doing a Black Friday special, so I kind of went a little overboard um, and got a lot of things that I love that are maybe a little bit more expensive, but I also got beets. So they sell this um, 
shrink wrapped, already cooked beets. Now, if you're a beet lover, again, totally worth a try here. These taste amazing. They're so much crisper than canned beets. Um, I had a can of beets um, because I was craving them during my pregnancy and they are just kind of like mushy. But cooking your own beets is so, you really have to commit and it's kind of messy um, because it's beets. I mean, but the beet water will like dye your counter. So um, definitely a commitment there. Um, so I love especially if they're on sale or marked down even more. I love to get these. I just, mostly I put them on salads, but that's what I like to do with beets. Um, the next thing that I do uh, at Thrive is I really invest in um, either steel cut oats or um, this is one-to-one -one gluten free baking flour. It's a substitute for regular flour. Um, but I stock up on baking essentials. Thrive has so many great um, baking type essentials, especially if you are dairy-free, gluten-free, or need an alternative like that. Um, you can save so much money if you stock up on these items at Thrive. And um, so I usually try to add one or two of those things that I need um, to my order. The next thing that I always add to my order is coconut milk and coconut cream. So again, pretty standard jar of coconut milk. I just like this um, because it tends to be cheaper than at the grocery store, especially depending on which grocery store you go to. Um, but this gem, I know they sell this at Trader Joe's as well, um, but I haven't been going to Trader Joe's. So I love getting this from thrive and this is coconut cream so it's an entire can of what would be on the top of a can of coconut milk now i don't know if you can hear that but um it is still kind of liquidy but it's amazing for cooking i almost prefer to use this instead of coconut milk if i'm making like a curry or something like that um i'll use a whole can of this and it also then I don't have to open up a can of coconut milk, scrape off the top layer, and like use the coconut water for something else. I can just measure out what I need from this can. Um, so that's that. Another um, staple for me that I've been using is this Mary's Gone Crackers. So if you are a cracker lover, but you want to be gluten-free, um, or you are gluten-free, um, this is an amazing, um, option. So this is the super seed. I'm actually trying this flavor. I've never tried this before. I always try their pepper and, um, original, but these are amazing in hummus. I actually use them in salsa as well. Anything that you would normally use, um, a cracker in this Mary's Gone Crackers is great. And the serving size is 12. So what I find sometimes with either gluten-free items or just in general, um, crackers, the serving size is like five crackers. 12 is a lot of crackers. Um, and so definitely worth the investment here. Um, next item. Oh my gosh. I already dug into this, but this is something I had never tried these before. So this is basically kind of looks like beef jerky. I'll show you. Um, this is what it looks like but it's paleo beef jerky, essentially, made with 100% grass-fed beef. Um, and there was a few different options. I got a few. Um, this is something that was normally kind of expensive. Um, but again, because of the sale, it was knocked down to a price that I felt like was way more affordable. Um, there's hardly anything in this. And only one gram of carbs, eight grams of protein. So for me, um, because I'm breastfeeding, I have been trying to eat a ton of protein because protein obviously um, helps keep your milk supply up. Um, that is what the IBCLC that I met with told me. Um, I know that there's other things that can boost milk supply, um, but 
making sure that you're getting enough protein is definitely one of them, especially in the afternoon. Um, and I had gestational diabetes during my pregnancy, um, which is something that I will, I can talk about it in a future video or, um, on my blog, but it was a struggle for me. And so I really, um, would prefer actually to be plant-based, but I was craving meat during the first trimester. Um, so I definitely was not plant-based then. And then because of this gestational diabetes, I had to go so protein heavy on my diet that I really just kind of kept that up in this time postpartum. And so I've just been trying to eat a ton of protein um, and non-dairy, um, but animal products. So this was just one great way. Like I said, I tried it. I'm in love. I basically eat a stick every afternoon. It's amazing. Um, they're so easy to for on the go that I kind of want to keep a couple like in the diaper bag, um, and just use them if, um, I'm somewhere and I can't have a snack, but I'm hungry. I don't know about you, but if you're a breastfeeding mom, um, I noticed two things happen the second I sit down to breastfeed. The first is that I'm immediately thirsty, so I always carry around my huge water bottle, or I'm hungry. Um, so it's great to have these little um, snacks handy when you're breastfeeding. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is um, how I indulge my sweet tooth. So Enjoy Life is like one of my favorite, all-time favorite brands. Um, and the reason for that is while they're not sugar-free, they are free of basically everything else. So um, you can see here everything that they're free from. There's essentially no allergens in this, um, which I love because as I mentioned earlier, I prefer to be gluten-free and dairy-free, especially now that I'm breastfeeding. Um, but I definitely still get chocolate cravings and those sweet tooth kind of cravings. And this is so nice to be able to indulge. Um, honestly, I keep a bag of these in my fridge, these little chocolate chips. And sometimes I don't even bake with them. I just take a handful and eat them. <laughs> um, but they're amazing. So totally hands down recommend them to anyone who is looking for chocolate but um, isn't really able to have those types of allergens um, in their diet or just is choosing to avoid them. Um, Again, Thrive, I find, is a great way to try some new things. So I have bought this before, but these chocolate bars, um, I'm definitely way more a fan of dark chocolate. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but these are usually very expensive at the grocery store that we go to. So I try to always um, indulge a little bit when I make a purchase from Thrive. Um Another thing I was craving during my pregnancy was mac and cheese. Um, and so Daya, I think that's how you say it. I'm actually not really sure, um, makes dairy-free and gluten-free mac and cheese. So again, this is something, unfortunately, I couldn't really eat it towards the end of my pregnancy because of the gestational diabetes, but um, I love this. It's so easy. It's like making a box of Kraft mac and cheese. Um, but again, gluten-free and dairy-free. So totally recommend that. Um, one thing I found during my last Thrive um, haul that I am now obsessed with is this, specifically the sea salt um, and vinegar go sprouted, go raw sprouted um, pumpkin seeds. So I love this brand. They're just really good. This pumpkin seeds are very crunchy. Um, I like to add them to salads. My husband uses them, but I found that they have this salt and vinegar option, which I'm not going to lie. It doesn't taste like salt and vinegar kettle chips, um, but they're good. They're still salty, vinegary, kind of give you enough of that tang. And so they're really good on salads, in my opinion. Um... One thing that I also like to invest in, especially when it's on sale, because it I find it to be a little bit pricey even on Thrive, is Kettle and Fire Bone Broth. Um, so they have some soup options. 
They also have bone broth. So I try to get a few boxes of these. Um, again, especially if there's some type of promotion running. And I use this when I'm making soup. Um, sometimes I'll mix it with vegetable stock. Um, or if I am, um, you can add it to rice if you're making rice or something like that where the liquid actually cooks into the grain. Um, it just gives it a little bit more flavor. But I love the Kettle and Fire brand. But like I said, they're, it's just kind of expensive. So I like to um, stock up if there's a promotion. The next thing um, that I love to stock up on is this cacao nibs. So I love adding these to my oatmeal. Um, this, they are something, they taste chocolatey for sure. Um, but it's not chocolate. It's definitely more bitter. So it tastes like a very bitter chocolate. They're crunchy, little tiny, um, kind of like seeds, I guess. And they're nibs. I don't know how, how else to really explain it, but they're kind of seed like, and, um, tons of ac antioxidants and they're so good in my opinion on oatmeal. I've, because of the gestational diabetes, I really tried to reduce the amount of maple syrup I was using. Um, but cacao nibs, oatmeal, maple syrup. Oh my gosh. It's just like the most delicious thing ever. Um, the next thing that I bought, um, is this test maze, um, Buffalo sauce. Um, so I wanted to try this. I've used test maize before. I've tried the, um, ketchup that they have great brand. Um, really just not a lot of ingredients and the ingredients are things that I can pronounce and I like that Buffalo flavor. So, um, I wanted to stock up. Also, I'm sorry for the weird lighting. Um, I'm using the natural light in my bedroom and the, um, shades are open and it's getting a little bit weird. Um, let's see. Next thing is this. Um, I tried this and I've already tried it, um, in some coffee and it's so good, but basically this better half coconut cream and almond milk creamer, but this one is the pumpkin spice, um, flavor. And it is so good. Um, you get that pumpkin flavor and you get some of the spice as well. But I'm so happy I bought it. Tastes amazing. Totally, totally worth it. And it has a lot of flavor in it, which I like because I find sometimes I'll get something like that and it's just kind of like bland. Um, this one definitely has the flavor in it. Um, a few more things to go. So one, again, I was all about the meat snacks this time. I, that seemed to be the theme. Um, I decided to try this wild Zora and I got the curry turkey, um, flavor definitely tastes like curry. And there are these little, um, pouches, um, that look like this. And it almost is just kind of like jerky style but they're mixed with dates. So it's a little softer. Um, it sounds weird, but it doesn't taste like dates at all. It definitely tastes like curry turkey. Um, and there's spinach, cardamom, and dates in this one. So it's the original meat and veggie bar. But again, a great snack. I feel like this is an awesome diaper bag snack um, that like on the go, grab and go, take one with you so that you're not hungry if you're breastfeeding somewhere or um, running around all day. And finally, I think the last thing, this, um, so I love mineral fusion. That's the makeup that I wear. Um, it's the makeup that I have on now and, um, thrive actually carries, um, some of the, the mineral fusion items. So this is the volumizing mascara. Um, it's one that I love. I go back and forth between buying it off of Amazon their website and thrive. Um, but since it was on there and it was on sale, I figured I would pick it up. Um, so definitely worth the investment there. But like I said, um, I love thrive market. It is a way that I can get my groceries shipped to me. They do, oh, I should have brought it in here, but 
they do a great job packing. They really pack a ton into the box. I mean, the box will be like filled to the brim, but nothing is damaged because they use that paper, um, like packing paper and um, to pack the top and the bottom. They wrap up the glass jars in the paper and um, I've only had something break one time and I emailed them and they refunded me, which was great. So highly, highly recommend Thrive. I'll have the items um, that I got linked below and the way that you can um, find them. And um, I hope you find this video helpful and I hope it gives you a little insight into what this breastfeeding mama nutrition coach um, orders from Thrive. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.